For tonight's homework, I'm going to have you copy these three times each. So here we go. First problem is a sequence problem where they have you use the dots to count so you can see how many dots in each design or each step. That first step I have four, second step I have six, third I have three. So first thing I need to do is find out how much I'm going up by each time and I'm going up by two. So that is D equals two. That is a arithmetic sequence adding two each time. To find design zero, I'm gonna backtrack. So if I'm adding two going to the right, I'm gonna subtract two going to the left. So at the zero term, it has to be two. And that makes sense because if you add two, you get that very first term, which is four. So that zero term going backwards would be two circles in that zero design. All right, to find the 25th or how many circles in the 25th, I'm going to use the explicit function and evaluate that for 25. So for the explicit function, I need both the D, the common difference number, and I need the F0 term to plug those in. Because explicit is always the 0 term plus D times X. So if I plug those in, the explicit form will be for this one 2 plus 2X. And we'll usually write that in slope intercept form with the 2x first and the 2 second. So I would get in the habit of writing it in slope intercept form. And then I'm going to use that explicit function to evaluate it for 25. I'm going to plug in 25 for x and do the math. Plugging in 25 right there is just the function notation. That just shows me what I'm evaluating for. I'm going to take that 25 and replace it in the X spot over there by 2. That's where I'm actually doing the work. So 2 and then where X is I plug in 25. Order of operation says do the multiplying first. So I'm going to multiply those. And then I'm going to add 2 second. So at the 25th term there will be 52 circles. And again you would not want to use the recursive form to go all the way out to the 25th step. You want to skip straight ahead, use explicit. All right, problem number 12. They're having you find the next four terms using the recursive pattern, which means using the number before it and the math that you're doing to get the next term. So the first term in the sequence is 5. I'm going to multiply by 3 each time. So to find that second term, take 5 times it by 3. That gives me 15. To find that third term, Take that number before it, 15 times by 3 gives me 45. To find that fourth term, use the number before it, 45 times it by 3 gives me 135. And to find that fifth term, use the number before it, times it by 3, so 135 times 3 gives me 405, I believe. So the next four terms in that sequence are 15, 45, 135 and 405 times in by 3 each time that is a geometric sequence times in where the first one above it was arithmetic adding to find the zero term for the sequence in number 12 that should really say number 12 right there so to find the zero term for that I'm gonna go back and if I'm timesing by 3 going to the right, I'm going to be dividing by 3 going to the left. So if I take that 5 and divide by 3, I get 5 over 3. That is the zero term. And that makes sense because if I took 5 over 3 times 3, it would give me the first term 5. The 3s would cancel. So again, that zero term is 5 over 3 or 5 times 1 third. And then the last problem here for the homework it says, how is this sequence growing? Geometric sequences always grow exponentially. If you were to graph them, they give you that line that starts out and then shoots way up. Geometric grow exponentially. And then arithmetic graphs grow in a linear fashion, straight line. So again, geometric gives you that curve line, exponential. Arithmetic would give you a straight line linear that's what we call it so linear straight line exponential curve line arithmetic grows linear
geometric grows exponential. Good luck. Copy these problems three times each.